friends, welcome back. Uh, continuing from the last video, uh, let us revise what we did. In the last uh, video, we proved that if we add up the exterior angles of any regular polygon, uh, we are focusing on regular polygon, but the same rule can be also used for a non-regular polygon. When I say regular polygon, it means the sides are sides and angles sides and interior angles are equal. Uh, what I mean is this is a regular polygon because all the sides are equal and the angles, the interior angles are also equal. If you look at this pentagon, all the sides are equal and uh, the measure of the interior angles are also equal. So that is what I mean by regular polygon. So we proved that if you add up the exterior angles of any regular polygon, they add up to 360. Okay. So we're going to use this small principle or rule to figure out how to find the interior angles. So what I mean is, how can I know or how do I know that this is 108 degree or this is 120 or this is 135. That's the objective of this video. So, so I've drawn, this is a pentagon, regular pentagon. So we can see there are five exterior angles. So what do we know? We know that the exterior, ang exterior angles add up to 360. So we know that if you add these exterior angles, you've got five exterior angles, and they add up to 360. Say so if this is x, this will also be x. If this will also x, this is x and x. So we know that interior angles are equal, so the exterior angle have also to be equal because this plus this is 180. So this plus this is also 180. That's why exterior angles are equal. So let us let us uh, presume for a while we don't know the measure of the exterior angle. So, but we know that if we add them up, that is 360. So I can say x plus x plus x plus x plus x is 360 from the last video. So that is same as saying x plus, you've got five lots of x, that is same as five times x is equal to 360. Okay, now let me change the color. So, so now I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So if I divide this side by 5, I will divide this side by 5. So I can get x, so this 5 and this 5 gets cancelled. So x is 360 divided by 5 is same as 720 divided by 10. I double both the numbers. So double of 360 is 720 and double of 5 is 10. So that is 72 degrees. So if this is 72, so this is 72 degrees, that's what we've got. So if this is 72 degrees, I know that these two add up to 180. So this should be 180 minus, so this is this angle. So let me draw an arrow here. So this angle should be 180 minus 72. So 180 minus 70 is 110, then again take away 2, so which is 108 degrees. So one interior angle is 108, so each of these should be 108. So, so this is 108 and so on. So each of this would be 108. So yeah, in the same manner, yeah, this has got how many sides? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let us start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sided polygon. I don't know what is this polygon called. This is a 7 sided polygon. So we've got 7 exterior angles. So I can call this say Y. This is Y. This is also Y. I'm not going to write all the Y's. So we've got 7 Y's. So Y plus Y plus Y 7 times. That is same as 7 Y is equal to 360. So 
So dividing both sides by 7, so I can say y is equal to 360 divided by 7. Now 360 divided by 7 would not be a neat number, so I'm going to use a calculator. So let me open up my calculator. So here we go. So 360 divided by 7, not a very good number, 51 point. Uh, this ugly number okay so let us say this is 51.4 degrees okay so this is 51 point uh, rounding to one decimal point so this is 51.4 degrees so if this is 51.4 this would be this angle this is 51.4 in 1 dp this is rounded to 1 dp or 1 decimal point Okay, so this would be this angle uh, would measure 180 take away 51.4. So again, I may use a calculator. So where's my calculator? Uh, here it is. Uh, so 180 menu run 180. <coughs> minus 51.4 which is 128.6 okay this angle i'll change the color for the sake of changing so let me use blue so what was the answer 128.6 okay so this angle is 128.6 so each of this interior angles would be one 28.6 hopefully I'm right so let us take two more examples here now this is this has got how many sides so let's count the number of sides with one two three four five six seven eight five so nine sides so you've got nine exterior angles and we know so let us say this angle is a okay so if this is a this would also be a this would also be a so you've got nine exterior angles and we know that they add up to 360 so what can i say i can say nine times a okay it means adding a nine times is same as multiplying a with nine so nine times a is 360 okay so this is you can divide both side by nine so if i divide this side by nine i have to divide this by nine so I can say A is equal to 40 degree. So this is a neat number. So this is 40 degree. Again, what do we know about angles on a straight line? These, this angle and this angles are angles on a straight line. So this is angles on a straight line adds to 180. So if this is 40 degree, this would be 140 degree. Cool. So let us take one more example. Now this is this has got how many sides? Okay, so this has got let us start from here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you've got eight sides, so you've got eight extra angles. So let us call this say B. So this would also be B and so on. So this will also be B. I'm not going to write all the B's we've got eight b's okay so one two three four five six seven eight so i can say the same rule i know they add up to 360 so 8a is equal to 360. so dividing both sides by eight if you divide this by eight you can also divide this by eight so that is a is equal to 360 divided by 8, so you can cancel the 0, so that is 36 out of 8, dividing, I can half them, that is uh, 18 over 4, which is 9 over 2, oh sorry, I've done a mistake here, so let me correct it. Uh, I was wondering what I was doing. So this is 360 divided by 8. Okay, 
let me use a calculator so 360 divided by 8 I should do that without the calculator but I'm a bit lazy so 360 divided by 8 is equal to 45 so this uh, is 45 so a is 45 okay so this is 45 and again the same rule angles on a straight line as to 180 so this is 180 minus 45 so 180 minus 40 is 140 so and then again take away 5 which is 135 so each of the ex interior angles of this polygon which is an eight-sided polygon which is octagon would be 135 that means each of them would be 135 degrees hopefully this video is has been helpful uh, thank you very much see you next video